gold medals for the Chinese player of Wang Xiaoli and Yu Yang. But look what is coming next. It's the men's singles. Lee Chong Wei and Lin Dan. What a match ahead of us. So the players are getting ready to come out of their London bus. And of course, the man who's going to introduce them is Howard Bentham. just turned up the noise volume. <laughs> yep, that's good. I don't know about Wembley Arena, I feel like I'm in Wembley Stadium right now. <laughs> Been down last night after that wonderful victory over Peter Gader. Morton Frost now alongside me. Morton, you know, you played at the very top of men's singles badminton. Here we have two players who are right there, right up with you. And what a special match we've got ahead of us. A fantastic match. I'm really, really looking forward to it. They, both players, deserve to be in the final. And they are by far the two most outstanding players we've got in the world today and as you can see the crowd they just uh, cheer from both sides and it is going to be a magnificent match. Well the auditorium is as packed as it's been and flags of Malaysia, flags of China are flying around. These are superstars. These are players who, particularly in Asia of course, but around the world are global icons. Lee Chong Wei, the world number one in his first world championship final. And look at that win loss ratio this year. One defeat in 44 matches. Who beat him? Yeah, of course, it was Lin Dan. But that was back in January in Malaysia. And since then, of course, Lee Chong Wei has beaten his opponent in the All England Championships. Lee Chong Wei, who is revered around the world. And of course, so far it's been very simple for him, Morton, hasn't it? All straight oh, yes. sets victories. Yeah, he hasn't been uh, really stretched at any time in the tournament. Uh, and again, I must say, it's really hard to stretch Lee Chong Wei. I mean, look at the opponents he's had. Park Sun Wan, you know, <laughs> disposed of him. Yeah. Chen Jin, the defending champion, 21-9 yes. in that second game. Yeah, yeah and he's had an outstanding tournament. A lot of people have been in doubt whether Chong Wei can, can do it. I have had the firm belief from day one that he can do it. Well, Lee Chong Wei has been absolutely outstanding. Lin Dan has won everything that Badminton has had to offer. 43 individual titles. He has lost maybe the invincibility a little bit this year. But three victories in seven events in 2011 isn't too shabby. <laughs> well, Lee Chong Wei perhaps is the king of the Super Series. This man knows how to rise to the occasion. And yesterday he was given a bit of a bit of a battle by your compatriot Peter Gerda. Oh yes, Peter played a fantastic first set and then managed to win it 24-22. Uh, but uh, 
from there it was a, an uphill struggle for Peter. He's been working very hard to get to the semis in this tournament and was eventually running out of steam. But it was a fantastic match. It was a very good match. Well, China have won 49 gold medals now in World Championships. Is Lin Dan about to bring up the half century? Cormac Breslin is the umpire from Ireland. Wojciech Ossowski from Poland is the service judge. It's loud, it's noisy, it's the dream final. It's the two best players of their generation meeting for the first time in a World Championship final. They've met on big occasions before. Olympic final 2008 in Beijing. Li Chongwei well beaten by Lin Dan. Right now though, it's pretty even, isn't it, in terms of who's going to win, and it's pretty even in terms of who, who's making the most noise, the Malaysians or the Chinese in the crowd. Yeah, we are having a fantastic match ahead of us. Um, Lin Dan played some of the best badminton ever, ever, ever seen when he won the Olympics 2008 in the final against Chongwei. The way he disposed of him was uh, awesome, absolutely awesome. Um, I think Chong Wei since has grown a lot in his game and especially mentally I think he has improved a lot. So it's going to be a completely different ball game this time. What do you make of Lin Dan's comments last night after beating Peter Gader? He says I don't care about the result tomorrow. It can be a very good remark because that means that he is going, you know, he doesn't care, he's just going to play his best bands and he's got no, not nervous, no, no tension, no nothing. China. Lin Dan, superstar. Li Chong Wei, superstar. It's the men's singles final. That's first point for Li Chong Wei in his first ever World Championship final. He said, I've come this far, I'm going to go flat out. And you've said, Morton, he has been your favourite since the start of the week, Lee Chong Wei. Yes, uh, obviously not only because of what he's done this week, but uh, what he's done this year, even the last year. I think he, he is the best player in the world at the moment. He might not win this one, I'm not saying that he, he will win it, but I still think he's the best in the world. And for me, he's also favourite to win the Olympics next year in London. And don't forget, not only is he trying to win his first World Championship gold medal. He's trying to win Malaysia's first ever gold in these World Championships. Lin Dan, though, is off the mark. jump there and the finish straight on the line almost uh, but what we always have to remember is that he's got that awesome cross court smash as well so it's very hard to cover what where to go what to do they've met 25 times before and Lee Chong Wei is only one eight of them so there's no doubt who's had the upper hand I'd imagine 25 times that's a lot <laughs> that's really a lot Let's finish this. Well, is this to be Lee Chong Wei's day of destiny? He's got many people who regard him as heroes, including this young man, Azaraf Hazik, who was caught up in the London riots this week in a rather negative manner, but wonderfully he's been brought here tonight. With his parents have been flown over as well, and he's got to meet his hero, Lee Chong Wei. And so far, at 4 2 up, I'm sure he's enjoying it. Make that 5 2. I know it looks so easy, but it, it's always the case no matter what you see on, on, as, on sport, uh, culture, ballet, whatever. When you see the absolute best, it looks so easy, and that's what uh, these two players are making it look like. It looks so easy. They walk the court, and it's just quick, quick. Hit the line. I 
I think that's Lindan's chance. He, he's got to keep playing these winners. If he's not playing the winners like what he's doing now, he's going to get in trouble. And that's the pressure on his game. He's got to produce winners most of the time. Well played by Lindan. I think it's the it's the right choice. He's taking the chance, but he he's playing it, and that's the way he should do. That was Chang Wei's favourite shot. That cross court smash. Oh, bro. Everybody else would go cross court somehow. And here Lindan controls the net so well and managed to push it straight down the line. That's what we coaches are talking about the whole time. Don't go cross, don't go cross. This one there is excellent. The shadow top. It's just it's such a good touch in a way, way, isn't it? Oh, that's such a touch to it. I think Chang Wei have to be careful not to be too passive. He's he's quite happy to to go just for placement and and not pace and power. And so far he's still seven four up, but I think he's got to put himself in respect sometimes. Otherwise, then then. We'll play with him and play his winners on occasions, and it can make the difference. Interesting quotes, quotes from uh, his coach here, Tay Soi Bok, after last night's performance, said that Lee Chong Wei used to choke, but played yesterday with so much confidence against the defending champion. Yeah. For his coach to say that, that he choked, I mean, is that to say that he won't anymore? <laughs> Let's hope. He deserves it. It will be grossly unfair if he doesn't take one of the big titles just because of Lindan. Chang yeah. Wei is just as good. Yeah, never won the world title, not won the Olympics, not won the Asiad title as well. Lindan's won it all. See here, Lindan, when he's getting the chance, the big gun is out. And what I like so much when we see this in slow motion, look at how high he hits the shuffle. When he's jumping, he hits the shuffle at the highest point possible. He's not falling down and then hitting it. It's at the highest point. That timing is crucial. 266, the speed of that smash from Super Dad. Have a city chance to take by Nine, Lindan. Six. Standing there looking at it. That's long. Again, I think we have to draw the attention to the fact that uh, Chong Wei is playing a little bit with the drift, it means he's got slightly more difficulties in uh, controlling the length of his shots. So in, in, in badminton terms, I would say that Lindan is having the best side at the moment. But it's tense. It's pretty furious, isn't it? Um, right now, there's not much between them. But Chang Wei have to add on some more pace and more pressure. Can't be happy with what he's doing so far. He, he must push even harder than what he's doing now. I've seen that a long way. The 
is playing to the crowd. Yeah. Wasn't watching the shuttle go out, was no, he? No, he knew it. He was he watching was... Ling Dan go. <laughs> Watch yeah. the shuttle go out. And he was just playing the crowd a bit. moment so far of the game for him yeah this one here and this is good we know he can do it and he needs to add that pressure on the whole time otherwise Lindan will score 279 was the fastest smash of the match so far Lee John Wei who lost in the quarterfinals last year against Tarfik won his bronze medal on his debut in 2005 hasn't done better than that but of course Lindan well, three times a champion, 2006, 2007, 2009, runner-up as well in 2005. For his stand that poorly executed. That one, that's too much. It's way out. Times is lethal. in this uh, rally to go for the attack and chose only to do it on the third or the fourth one and uh, he had a great opportunity from his around the head situation and down the line where he's got by far his best match and he did not use it which was uh, interesting well in my book still John Wei is a bit too passive I, I think he, he needs to go in there and Add the pressure because he's had the killer instinct this yeah. week, hasn't he? He's looked oh, yes. exemplary. Yes, but it's 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 too nice. I don't know how to explain it, but it's too nice. He he yeah. can he can play faster. He can be more attacking, and and he needs to really shake it up a bit. There's more pressure here on Lee Chong Wei, isn't there? Yeah. Lin Dan, you know, he said at the start of the week, from my main perspective is getting ready for the Olympics. Yeah. For Lee Chong Wei, you know, the first world yeah. title, the first one for Malaysia and everything that goes with it. But he's got to take it. 
He cannot expect Linden to give it to him. He must take it. opening game Lindan yet to lead in a single point but we're getting towards crunch time where champions come to the fore for the latter stages of these games that's my left Interesting again to see how Linden is moving forward. Uh, not, it's not this shot we're talking about, but he's moving forward when Chan Wei is having a, an attacking position because he knows he will not play the clear due to the drift. That is excellent play. Lindan has done that on a, a number of occasions now, and I think Chang Wei has to seriously consider whether he should stay away from that, that short forehand corner. I mean, his touch Fourteen. around the net, it's just so good. Other here, they are. In many ways, I think this rally can benefit Li Chong Wei. Far the longest rally of the match. Oh, oh what a touch! Oh, what a so shot! Beautiful. What a point from Linda! What a way to end that one then. So well disguised. He actually did it a few times in the rally, but here he succeeded. And it's 14 points apiece. I don't think it was a fair picture when he was world number one because at that time Lindan was better when we uh, whatever we saw from the Olympics in, in Beijing in 2008 I think that was August so um, that was not really a correct picture I think. Good luck for Lindan. And they, they have great respect for one another, don't they? Oh yes, as you can see, was it 25 times? Yeah. They've been uh, playing one another. Oh. 
and yes, obviously they travel the world, they're on the same circuit year, day in, day out, every year, and obviously they know one another very well. And Chong Wei can speak Chinese as well, so uh, I'm sure they can communicate. Oh. For the first time in this match, Lin Dan leads. Yeah. That was a silly mistake by Chong Wei. There's no way he's going to go through with that one, especially on the forehand side. to take this opening game. Cross courts, yes. This time the lap goes with Lee John Wei. It's a lucky neck core. point this is this is going to be crucial to win crucial Lee Chong Wei takes it unbelievable people are standing up <laughs> that's the one good save will that prove to be well you get a dream final you just never know whether it's going to live up to the expectations but I think it just did there I don't think we can complain <laughs> uh, it was really good good rally and I think it, it could be very deciding very deciding indeed. Chang Wei could get that confidence it takes to play. A massive boost. You saw it in that shot there. Well, in then, nice lift and back to square one. Cross. Oh. That's it's wide. They're getting very excited inside the Wembley Arena. They're getting excited in Kuala Lumpur. Lee Chong Wei has gained points. I can guarantee you. Every single corner shot everywhere in Kuala Lumpur, the whole of Malaysia, they are screaming and shouting. Four game points. Fighting for a 
penalties. Big smash by Lindan. Straight one down the line. That's out. Oh my goodness. It's 2019. Again, uh, I think it was a good chance. It's the right shot. He went for it. Obviously, he should have kept it in. Shredding time. He didn't break a string. Oh my goodness! But he did. Four oh, game points point save. He did break the string. Waterbond just broke his string there. He did on the on the attack, and I thought he was very lucky not to break the string, but it did go. And obviously he's completely losing touch after that. Well, what about that break for Lee Chong Wei at such a crucial time? That was the round ahead when he was jumping into it and going for the smash. It was a, the right chance to take. Uh, it's unbelievable the way things can work against you. Just a knock up there for that new racket now for Lee Chong Wei, but what a time for the string to crack. Well, it's because of the so high tension the strings are having these days. You know, if, if, if you play shots like that, chances are really great for, for it to break. That's an excellent attack. And he's got a fifth game point of this opening set. How's that for mental fortitude? That's good play. That's, that's perfect. In the olden days, there would be a fall because he was under the net. Doesn't count anymore. He got there in the end. Lee Chong Wei is halfway to his gold medal. He made his fans suffer there, but he got the job done. Yeah, he made them suffer a little bit. <laughs> well, what an opening set in this men's singles final. What a roller coaster ride. And there's more to come, isn't there? 22 20. The first set goes to Lee Chan Wei. Now he's got to crack home that advantage that this man showed last night. But going to sit down necessary is not going to cause him too much stress. John Way, uh, Morton. Sorry, once again. How, how well do you know Lee John Way? I know him pretty well. Yeah? I know him very well. I, I'm actually sitting here, sitting standing, uh, thinking about the way the first game developed. I think this is crucial 
for Chong Wei to win this set, he's, he's just won now. Otherwise, it could have gone wrong. The way it developed. Morton, if, if, if Lee Chong Wei then hadn't come through that, you'd have really feared for him, yeah? Yes, uh, not because of uh, you know all pa uh, past history and all that, but because the way the game developed. You know, it's, it's a world championship final. He's never won it before. He has been leading all the way. Suddenly, he's, he's messing it up. And the fact that he had four set points, losing them as well. And if he had lost that set, it could have been crucial. It, that could be really been denting his, uh, his, his, his mental approach and everything. But as it is, he is now one game away from history. I think when I saw uh, the coaches talking to the players, you obviously do not understand what they're saying, where we come from. But uh, I, I think what Bok was trying to say to Lee Chong Wei was that you know you, you still have to attack. You cannot just run it. You have to play a decent attacking game. Go in there, take your chances now and again. For the time being, anyway, long, longish rallies. Um, Lindan is not ex exploding, uh, really putting the pressure on. Where we see his smash and all that, he's just also possibly happy to to play it around. And uh, and if Lindan is going to win in my book, he's got to play the winners. Well, Lee Chong Wei left this one, but it drops in. Asia. <laughs> they got plenty. They got plenty, I can assure you. <laughs> the nation of public holidays. <laughs> well, I'm sure there would be one to celebrate this victory. Absolutely. And if Lee Chong Wei can pull it off, but we've seen enough of Lin Dan to know better than to rule him out. Oh, yeah, don't do that. Please, don't oh. do that. Three good points for Lindan here. Didn't have to work for them. Virtually given to him. Our fourth one here. I know it's all relatively speaking, but he, for the four points he's, he's got in this second set, he hasn't had to work for it. Too slow. Chong Wei, that backhand was too slow. It's much more like it. Oh, he's put it in the net. Is this nerves? Is this the tension of getting the reality of on one set up here? I think it's just stressing the point I was trying to make before. 
if Zhang Wei had not won the first set. Changing his racket again. Another string win. So five points in a row fill in down. And the pressure has increased on Lee Chong Wei. have been better from Zhang Wei. I know he missed the, the drop shot in the previous one, but he was really making an attempt. And here he played a good winning smash. Well, they thought this could be Lee Zhang Wei's last World Championships here. Get hint in the build-up to this event that he would carry on maybe into 2013, but said yesterday that maybe it would be his last World Championships after all. We we'll obviously see that. Years to come because next year's Olympics will definitely be there. And it would be a surprise to see these two oh. in the final in this arena in next year's Olympics. Beautiful to watch is coming back to the good old days, the clears back in game. <laughs> they have such strong defense, both of them, that attacking from out of position is lethal for them. They have to wait for their chances and all that. That's why they play more clears. That one you can attack. Way has to do, got to push it and push it and push it. And the looks on some of the faces, I can't say it all. This is their heroes out there playing. Oh, yes, yeah. as you said earlier, superheroes from the two nations. That's out, yeah. Wei gets back out in front. A mini crisis over for the moment. Oh, wow. brilliant! Bounce back up as well. Yeah. <laughs> Try to do that. Another quality rally. Oh, a fantastic rally! And if you notice that Lindan was actually retrieving that smash. Playing it, blocked it to the net and moved in, and Chong Wei lifted it over him. But the fact that Lin Dan was prepared to commit to the net was really, really good. But it took extra points in that opening game. It's neck and neck again in the second. Second Malaysian man in a final win. Chung Han in 2003 made the final in Birmingham. And lost in a thrilling game, three sets. 
to the coach of Lindan. This set, we turn it into the net. Down the line, well pushed. John Wei didn't have many options. He had to give the initiative away. He chose to go cross court, but it was a little bit, I think, too short and a little bit too low. Punished straight away. Lindan. That one there, he really caught Chong Wei, setting up the smash opportunity, and as you say, a rare shot missed. Ten seven would have been a good lead for Lindan. The pair players committing in this rally, they just play mini, mini neutral shots. That's good though for me, John Way, and he's got parity again in this second game. players I would say will go cross court on that one but he managed to brush it down the line and it just shows the sign of a true champion good defense watch the recovery yeah oh, that's a bit slow yes well played by Lindan, second chance. A couple of big hits oh. from Lindan. That's first one really well recovered. The second one, he's he's missing it due to the fact that the the backhand shot is is too slow. It's, it's too loose. Yeah. Recovery skills are incredible. Both players. Yeah. It's a 
trademark for both players that they're so quick. It's, it's out. It's wide from Lee Chong Wei and it's Lindan with the slenderest of leads and advantages in this second game. Well, Lee Chong Wei leads by a set. It's Lindan 11 10 up in this second. Well, it's all going to come down, isn't it, to, to, to the, the, the big points, the crunch points, Norton again. Yeah. But the thing is that for, for Chung Wei, it, it might look like he's not gaining anything from adding on the pressure and keep working at it. But eventually he, he is coming through, and eventually mistakes are creeping in from Lindan. But he's got to work harder. Well, Wembley is electrically charged, isn't it? Those noise levels, hard to believe, are they're just going to go yeah, up a crank or two as uh, the conclusion of this game gets nearer. Well, when Lin Dan gets to 11 points first, 92% of the time in the last six years, he's taken the he's set. He's converting it to, to a win in the set. That's a fantastic statistic. Imagine six years. Yeah, 92%. If he gets to 11 first, let's see if he sticks this time. Yeah, well, he's just taken the first point after the interval. Wow. Ten. Oh, it's long. Now. That's the biggest lead that Lindan's had in either game. Yeah, he had the chance for 10 7. That's what I mean, Lindan, he's, he's really playing the winners. He's prepared to work hard, go for his chances, go for that attack and score at the same time. Brilliant, really well played by Lindan. 16-10, I do not think he will lose. The three of their last five meetings have gone to three sets. Looks like we're heading for another hit. Another bit of misjudgment from Lee Chong Wei.
17. as well You're from right. yeah. Lin Chong Wei. Yep, got to up his game really ahead of the third, doesn't he, really? Yep, and he's got to regroup. He can, uh... Oh, well, there you go. Yeah, but it's too, it's too late in, in this set. 12-18. Uh, it's, it's not possible. No, no, but in terms of, <laughs> at least it wasn't sloppy from him there. Which no, no, definitely not. Half a dozen points. No. Yeah, it's, it's, he's got to decide whether he try to work his way back a bit and get some confidence that way, or throw it away and say, OK, I regroup, I concentrate on the third set. And like Peter Gator last night against yeah. Linda. And then say, OK, love all play, let's do it again. in a row now for Lu yeah. Chong Wei when this and talking set. about sloppy points yeah first set look second set rather look beyond him now an inkling of hope yes disappeared again two more points for one set all 19 14 See what uh, Chong Wei is made of when it goes into the third set here. The momentum is suddenly with the three times world champion. Some great angles from Lee Chong Wei. Set. Magnificent point from both players. And in some way it's good news because we've got a third set in this magnificent match. Absolutely. The killing shot, the other favourite from the forehand side cross court. Well, 21-14, the score in that second set. It's one apiece. One more. Penny for your thoughts, and uh, uh, obviously, for, uh, there's, you know, it's you know, we're remaining neutral, but for Lee Chong Wei, obviously, you know, this is this is so this means so much to him. It's. Uh, but I, I also think it means a lot for the game, honestly. Not that I don't want Lin Dan to win. Exactly. It's got nothing to do with that. But for the game as such, it's, it's important that uh, there are other nations winning the big titles in China. Oh, Lin Dan is giving himself every chance, though, of claiming this for a fourth time. Coach is talking to the Chong Wei change of shirt. He's had a number of changes of racket. Playing with so much confidence this week.
So it all comes down to this. All comes down now to nerve, to skill. And for Lee Chong Wei, is it a date with destiny? Is it the day where Malaysia celebrate a gold in the World Championships for the first time in its 19 editions? Or is this man going to take a fourth men's singles gold? Yeah, it's crunch time. Again, love all play is, is obviously very trivial what I'm going to say, but how important it is to get a good start. No, I mean, especially the way things turned a little sloppy for Lee Chong Wei there in that second half of the opening game. And look at that. We saw it in the women's doubles, didn't we? Mm. First up, you know, for, uh, for, for U and uh, for Wang. They had three let cords right mm. at the start of the second game that went their way. And, and that was it. Yeah. Ding Dang got it there. Out. One, yeah, you're seeing why they are the two best players of their generation. And Dan has held the upper hand in their clashes. For each own way here at the minute. Yes. <laughs> I must say I do. I do, but obviously I also Three, have a personal stake in one. it. Been uh, responsible to bring him back in and uh, bring him into BAM and when he was very young and all that, and obviously know him quite well. So. And as a youngster, what was what was he like, Lee Chong Wei? Ah, uh, he was, uh, you know, happy-go-lucky, playing his shots, enjoying the game. He he just loves the game. But when you when you saw him first, did you think here's a guy that's going to rise to the top? Or yeah, it's so difficult to say when they are like 14, 15, 16 years old. But yes, I definitely thought he had the potential because he was different than everybody else. He was relying on other things. He was uh, playing a more clever game. He he has things that uh, none of the others had, and, and no no doubt that he should get into that academy in Kuala Lumpur. Also, uh, Morton Frost. Seven years, men's singles, world number one. Not outside the top three for 12 years. And here we are seeing two players here, the next generation down, battling out for world championship gold. Oh. This time, isn't it? It is. Both players have to make their lot. As I said previously, none of them can expect the other one to give it to them. They have to take it themselves. Clever move by Linda, not going cross court through the centre of the court where Zhang Wei is standing, waiting with the forehand. So imagine if this goes all the way to 29 all. <laughs> you know, we've got to look at the bright side. Yeah, well, listen, not much has separated them so far. And optimism right now is high in both camps. Yep, they play, they play well. They've got uh, a good start in both players. Oh, 
what a lift. That was an excellent lift and such a difficult shot. said it on previous occasions uh, during the week but somehow it looks like that Chong Wei have to work slightly harder for his points than Lin Dan and that could be the deciding factor. Well, he can see, convinced us of the statistic didn't he in the first game got to 11 points. Yeah. Well, I'm on and he's getting close to 11 points here, Lin Dan. I'm sure he knows that statistics himself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can guarantee you. It's like in the olden days when we're getting into settings, so okay, never lose the setting. number one and two players two points the difference oh Lin Dan was convinced that was out it's, um, it's close it can go either way he caught the line it was a good call it was a good call the right call. Not that the uh, Chinese fans inside Wembley Arena agree with that. And uh, that is a bit of a pick me up, isn't it? But that's what I'm talking about, what I was talking about before. Winning the, the, the points you're winning is slightly easier than the other one. That can make the difference. Chong Wei got three easy ones now. The pendulum swinging one way, then the other. That's the way he should be working the whole time. Short. Should be it. Oh. Don't leave it, yes, don't leave it. <laughs> what control? Don't leave it. No. Chong Wei's ahead again. What a time to win four points in a row. You know, one could be really scared when he's sort of looking at to leave these shots because uh, there's no way they aren't. Especially the drift will keep them in. Don't leave them. one is not a nice one trying to retrieve such power 277 not quite the fastest smash of the game but if you combine that with the angle one set of seven points up Two 
wonderful points for Lindgren. Fantastic Lindan to get that one. I have to say, we've had some great points. This one no, might be the best of the lot. this forever couldn't you it's unbelievable it's on the line it's on the line i think the umpire must have overruled yeah, he's it. overruled it he's overruled it well 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 what a call that is from Cormac Breslin, the Irish umpire. That I would like to see again. Let's have another look, shall we? Uh, from there, no chance to yeah. see it. Yeah, I'd like to see the other angle again. We're going to have plenty of time, obviously, to see what the <laughs> Chong ways off court. Yeah, it looks out. It looks out. 48 shots in that rally, Norton. Yep. That's a lot. Well, it takes a brave umpire, doesn't it? And it, and it must yeah. be a sure umpire. He must be so to sure. To, to overrule in a situation like this, he's yeah. got to be really sure. Brave as well, you know, yeah. brave as well, you know. Let's give him credit, because I, I think, I think he's got it right. Yeah, it, it looks on, on camera like he got it right. And if you notice, Zhang Wei did not complain either. <laughs> and that's what we saw at the Olympics 2008. That's what he was doing the whole time. Attacking and then getting in and the net finishing it off. Can't get away from that backhand side because it's so steep and so hard. Zhang Wei have to try to cross it, but there's no way he can do it. Time for Lee Zhang Wei to dig deep. Get into those reserves of strength. And somehow stop the might of Lin Dan. But if you have to go by the statistics, <laughs> Chang Wei have to win the next two. Listen, there's 8% of the time when he hasn't <laughs> yeah. gone on to win from 11 points. But still. <laughs> It's a good chance. It looks uh, even though I know I'll we. Tell, are. I'll tell you what. The uh, the players on the top of the game here, but the umpire is as well. I think. Yeah, it's a fault. Definite fault. Yeah. And again, again, excellent umpiring. Yeah. Lee Chong Wei leads at the interval. <laughs> Would you believe it? What a what a game, what a match. 29 all. Oh, it could be, couldn't it? You never know. You wouldn't rule it out here, would you? No. Nope. Well, what we do know is 
the next time they stop, there'll be a champion. Who would it be? Lee Chong Wei or Lin Dan? And there's no point in us guessing, was there? <laughs> I haven't got a clue. <laughs> Well, we just have to sit here and enjoy it with the rest of the crowd and the rest of the world watching it on TV. Yeah, and the players will be enjoying it, won't they? I, oh, they do. And that's, I think that's actually what Lindan was referring to last night. I really don't care, inverted commas. He's going out there, he's enjoying it, he's playing his game. Well, we will talk over these next points, but in some respect, it, we don't need to. Oh, we yeah. could just let it go. Keep quiet for a while. <laughs> oh, blazing guns. Oh, that was going out. It was going wide. Had it not clipped the tape, it had been going wide. Maybe. Just maybe I'm telling it's you. going to be Lee Chong Wei's day. <laughs> that one would have been going out. Seeing from where we are sitting. Boris Johnson, the Mayor of London, is here to suck this all in as well. That's in. So I think it's pulled out on the sideline. Nope. That ends a run of four points in a row for Lee Chong Wei. 11, 12. Another good call. They're eight points. They are eight huge points that Lee Chong Wei requires. Unless, of course, we go to extra points. <laughs> and I'm really cheeky because, you know, this is the next break we had since 11 and uh, we still don't have a champion. <laughs> he said, next time we're having a break, we will have a champion. <laughs> Just being cheeky here. You are oh, cheeky. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, I don't mind at all. Fierce concentration from Linda. One, 13. The only player to win the Olympics, the World, the Asian Games, the All England. Oh, that was a miss. Could go on. But maybe a major title is coming. Lee Chong Wei. I don't think Chong Wei would have gone down. He's falling out of court, court for once. Yeah. Yeah. Relieved to see that hit the net. Yeah. what I don't understand, Chong Wei's playing such a nice net shot. He's got to stay in, cover the net and kill it. That one is good, stay in, but he goes away. That's yep. in. Great angle. It's long, it's long. Three points the advantage now for Lee Chong Wei. Will he break the curse? <laughs> We're sweating just as much as they are. <laughs> Not that time. But he's being the, the aggressor here. Yes, he, he has played his chances and uh, wrong to say he deserves to win, but uh, I think he deserves the lead. Lindan tried at 11. I think he's got to try again now. Oh, into the net. Three point leads cut to one. 
Malaysian Dartuk, the 29 year old, the world number one. Fifteen minutes old. It's the length of game that Lin Dan had to play yesterday against Peter Gaeta late last night. He's drawing on his energy here to try and push Lee Chong Wei all the way here. Good picture. Every point now gets bigger and bigger. Chang Wei played two or three mistakes, now Lin Dan played one. Madonna and Queen and many other bands who have rocked this place over the years and now it's the two top badminton players who are doing it. Now it's big guns. Cleverly played, very well played. That's what I was looking for before when I said that John Wei should stay in. This is what Lin Dan is doing. Look at that, he's waiting. 18, 17. This is hard. Lee Chong Wei about to be broken again. going to be crucial but <laughs> Lin Dan looked as if he may have played a winner there and yeah. in the end it's Lee Chong Wei who does. Yeah, then Chong Wei played a very good net shot that flipped the tape and that was important to get back into it. One set all, 18 all. Out. John Wei just smacking his face a little there, trying to wake himself up, relieve the tension, relieve the nerves. He's bound to be feeling it here because Lin Dan now is two points away from another world title. It's well played by Lin Dan. Oh, he did not go for the big smash down the line. It's the net and over. He got it back. Unbelievable. It really is. Oh, it's 19 yeah, 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 yeah. How on earth? How on earth? <laughs> the night boxers in the 15th round of a world <laughs> title fight. They're matching each other here, blow for blow. It's <gasps> into the net. It's oh, match oh, 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 point oh, 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 for Lee so John well Is this the moment? He went in. What a miss. Well, it's now the time. Okay, next one is coming. It's coming. Lin oh, Dan yeah, saves yeah. match point.
nerves of steel. Didn't flinch. Deep breaths from Lee Chung Wei. We're into extra points. You knew it was coming, didn't you? <laughs> no, I'm just guessing. He's left it, and he's rightly left it. A second match point for Lee Chong Wei. He can taste gold. Oh, yeah. But does he dare to play? Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah, he flipped the tape. A match point. How to play a shot like that? <laughs> Suddenly, the pressure is heaped onto the shoulders of Lee Chong Wei. It was a fine, mm. fine margin. Oh, he's allowed to towel. That is, that is. Explain more, to Explain, Bob. It's not such a good decision. But Allowing the players to towel down. No, no. It's match point. It's continuous play. You know, this is obviously tactical. Everything is tactical. Man. Clever, cleverly done by Lin Dan. He's getting away with it, but I, I personally think. He should not. It's just my opinion. Well, he saved two match points, and now Lindan has one of his own. Is he going to break the heart of Lee Chong Wei again? Oh, yeah, yeah. That's going out. champion Lindan does it again a monumental battle oh Lee Chong Wei how you've got to feel for him before the match about not caring about the result. Who cares? 2006. 2007. 2009. And now the 2011 world champion, Lin Dan. Morton, two match points though for Lee Chong Wei. It, yeah, it's heartbreaking. Know. It's heartbreaking, I must say. I, I think that I've said it all week. I would keep saying it. Lee Chong Wei plays the best overall. Lin Dan is the champion. Yes. Well, Lee Chong Wei is. Uh, just walking around the court, he doesn't know what to do with himself, does he? he, he compared to Lurk as he watches Lin Dan celebrate here, it, that just, it just rubs the salt into the wounds, doesn't it? <laughs> no, he's in touch with it. He, he played, he rose to the occasion, he played a fantastic match, and hats off, he's a, he's a true, true champion. It's just heartbreaking that uh, Chong Wei is not having the title. He deserves it this time. Well, an hour and 21 minutes of the most thrilling badminton you're likely to see. And this was the moment where Lee Chong Wei put it into the net and Lin Dan Yu. The title was his again. 
He's a flamboyant character. He is the star of Chinese badminton. And well, he's been known to put his socks and even his shoes into the crowd, hasn't he, before? <laughs> this time it was just a shirt that went. And I think his shoes have gone actually shoes, as well. The medal well, ceremony yes. for the Yonix BWF World Badminton Championships, London 2011, for the men's singles. And uh, now I'm just getting ready for the medal ceremony to take place. And we can sort of catch our breath after that, Morton. Yes. I mean, what, did it go wrong for Lee Chong Wei, or is it just purely that oh, this man is just no, it was unbelievable? An incredible match, you know. Hats off for it. It was. You can't get it better. No. You can't get it better. Well, so pumped up at the end, Lim Dan, and you can understand why. Lee Chong Wei still looks. Dazzled by it all. Uh, consolations there from Peter Gaeta. Congratulations to the champion. The bronze medal and officials commemorative Gave him a great match as well yesterday, didn't he, Peter Gaeta? Yes. So the medals to be handed out. And you see the uh, presentation party. Receiving commemorative medals, our officials from Ireland, umpire Cormac Breslin. And what a terrific match he had as well. I mean, there were some big decisions to call, and, and he called them. Yes. And he got them right. Yes, yes, he got them right. Poland, Wojciech Ostowski. Well, it was the dream final, the and it lived up to expectations all the way. China, the bronzes. Chen Jin. Handing out the 2010 champion, Chen Jin. And also winning the bronze medal, representing Denmark, And it's a Denmark, world championship Peter goodbye Hope to Gada. Peter Gerda. Quick thought on him, Morton, obviously, fellow Dane. Yeah, he's been up there for years and years and years. And now he's got the fifth medal at the uh, world championships. Two silver, three Showed. bronze, one silver, four bronze. Showed some great guts, didn't he, in, in, in both his quarter-final and his semi-final match. Really was tremendous. But this is a the match that will be remembered medal, for a long time. Malaysia, and still, the world champion, Chip Gold, eludes in Malaysia. It's silver. And it's such a shame there has to be a loser. Really, you know, we have to feel for him here. And he's taking it in the great spirit that he, you would expect the great man to do. But every credit medal, has to go to the Yonex, champion. BWF Badminton World Champion 2011, representing China, Lin Dan! Well, the star rises even higher. Another gold medal around the neck of Superdan. Ladies and gentlemen, please will you stand for the national anthem of China.
do you follow that, really? We will be, of course, still to come the women's singles final, the men's doubles, and the mixed doubles final. But that was some match. Another dagger at the heart for Lee Chong Wei. Another moment of glory for Lin Dan. And a lap of honour to save it. So, Martin, final thoughts from you? Fantastic game. Good for the game, good for badminton. It was fantastic publicity. You, you can't get it better. No, that was sport at its most dramatic. And uh, and uh, really, it's going to be hard for the, the women's singles match to, to top that, isn't it? We, you never know what's around the corner, I suppose. Lindan continues the celebrations, draped in the flag of China. He is the man, and again, for the fourth time, he is world champion. Goes second on the list of most golds at a world championship up with uh, Gao Ling. And the celebrations will continue.